All right, y'all. Uh, I feel like I don't be showing my Rockets fan, my Rockets fan bias. You know, y'all y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't show my my Rocket fandom. You know, so we finna react to uh this. The NBA could get a new super team. The only reason um I'm reacting to this shit is because we got a lot of rumors uh surrounding around Houston right now. Uh, James Harden supposed to be coming back. What else? Oh, uh, we just got the fourth pick. We was trying to get Victor, but um, we could trade for him, but uh, the Spurs not gonna do that. But, um, or we could trade for Scoop, but I don't think they're gonna do that either. But uh, I'm trying to say, yeah. So I, I'm tired of rebuilding already, bro. I know we was just in contention a few years ago, but I'm tired of rebuilding already, bro. I'm I'm ready to bring a winning. I'm ready to have another a winning franchise back in Houston. So look. We finna react to uh, the NBA can get a new super team. So I'm finna react to this. Then after this, I'm finna do every. I'm gonna do a re. I'm gonna record a rebuild and do everything that is rumored to happen this year. So yeah. Have an obvious plan for anyone paying attention. Why would they hire a head coach with so much baggage? Ime Udoka got fired for having an improper relationship. Matt Barnes said it's worse than anyone can imagine. Even the Nets tried to hire him but backed out. Too toxic <laughs> for the Nets. Bad. Plus, Udoka won in Boston with a veteran roster. The I got the Houston Red uh, it makes no Red light on this motherfucker. Can I see it? Cooking up something big. Can Udoka some has lights. personal relationships. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can see. Very big stars. He was an assistant in Brooklyn with James Harden. He was head coach of the Celtics with Jalen yep. Brown. In fact, Jalen was Ime's number one supporter through all the drama. He said he was shocked when they let him go. He was great in our locker room. He was a leader in our locker room. I want to see him back on his feet. I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't feel bad for Jalen Brown. We won to in Houston. Quote, the Rockets owner Tillman Fertitta. Jalen will be a free agent at the exact time. Houston has more cap space than anyone. Is it a coincidence? They hired his favorite head coach. <laughs> no. And a report said the owner brought up James Harden to hey, whoever this dude to is interview. The Rockets. Whoever this dude is, I'm definitely gonna subscribe to him because uh two things can derail. I'm definitely a Houston fan. The problem Rockets. is they can't control if Harden or Brown is gonna leave their current team. But so, there are reasons that they would. For Harden, you would think it's winning a championship and getting paid. So all Philly has to do is win big and they keep him, right? Maybe not. Adrian Wojnarowski just said something that makes every Sixers fan nervous. Yep. My favorite way to catch up on NBA news is to listen to podcasts in the gym. So I am in the gym all the time. And one of my dream sponsors, very serious, their Sunday bank short. Immediately short. It's also off the gym. I'm to me, I really want to then I dot on discovery is very very unclear in Philadelphia. Houston is very much in play for him and I think a lot may depend on do they make a run and win and, and it's easy to Damn, and they lost and they didn't make a run. They lost in the second round. Houston, win or lose he goes. Win or lose? You mean this man could get a chip? Get paid the max and be playing with MVP Joel Embiid and still want to leave? They should make him mayor of Houston at that point. But that's hard to believe. <laughs> I mean, if the Sixers are successful, there is a really good chance Harden stays. But will they be? I mean, look at the difference between games one and two against the Celtics. Without Joel Embiid in game one, James Harden looked like an MVP and won on the road. Is there any chance that Harden... But game seven, he's got nine in points. In the biggest games, Joel Embiid just takes up so much of the offense, I can't be myself. But Jalen Brown is a different story. Goddamn ad. Ew. A glad dog. If he makes all NBA, the <laughs> Celtics can offer him a supermax, and rumors say that is the only way he stays in Boston. That would allow them to pay Jalen a hundred million dollars more Damn. than if he's not all NBA. A hundred million is enough. For him to forget that they tried to trade him for Kevin Durant twice. Otherwise, True. he's gone. The All-NBA teams will be announced near the end of May, and there is a good chance he makes it. But you never know. So the Rockets want to create a Jalen Brown. I think Brown he did make it. I don't know. But they might not even get the chance. 
But there is one other option to build a contender. The owner, Tillman Fertitta, told the media, it's phase two of our rebuild. Phase two is getting back to the playoffs and learning how to win again. I'm expecting a lot out of my coach and GM. That's what I want to hear. I want to win. I mean, when your boss says something like that out in public, you start to worry about your job security. Like, you have got to make the playoffs. So how does the GM do that? The Rockets have a ton of assets for big trades and signings. 60 million bucks in cap space. That is more than any other team. That's enough for two max contracts, yep. even if it isn't James Harden and Jalen Brown. They also have good young players and picks to trade. A report said they have discussed internally dealing Jalen Green Damn. and their pick for a star. It's still possible. Damn, who? What the fuck? Team in the West. It starts with trading for Carl Anthony Towns, Zach Levine, no. or Paul George. Fuck I've no. seen other names out there like Fuck OG no. and Anobi, but Fuck Towns, no. we don't need and PG are all on teams that might want to move them and recent All Stars. Or yeah. they could trade for like Mikhail Bridges without including a pick. Those Mikhail are Bridges don't want to Look, they only ain't going to trade Mikhael Bridges. Good. But he's not helping them win games. He Bro, did you forgot the Grizzly offer four picks for them? Horrible efficiency. The only reason people like him is his potential. But if he doesn't get better, then he's a volume scorer, which is another term for selfish. Then his value <laughs> in the trade sucks. But after they make that trade, they focus on signing a really good player. And one report says they are targeting Chris Middleton. I know fans hear that name and they think he's overrated, but he's at least good enough to be a championship number two. That is hard to find. The Bucks might hesitate to pay him. I don't want Chris Middleton in Houston. And losing in the first round. If that happens, the Rockets can take advantage. Now, he's a restricted free oh, agent, which means the Bucks can agent. match any offer. But there are guys who the Rockets can get unrestricted free agents like Kyrie Irving, Jeremy Grant, Fred Van Vliet, I forgot Kyrie. Jamal Green, Dylan Brooks, Brooke Lopez, and Oh, Harry they said we're going to sign Dylan Brooks. <laughs> two or three of those guys. Or add a restricted player like Cam Johnson or Austin Reeves. So you can see Hell how no. we can make a really good team I'm overnight. Our damn but Reeves. why? Are they rushing it? I mean, why not just keep sucking to get really high draft picks? Because we don't have because any they our draft picks. can't pick. build through the draft. Back in 2019... They made one of the dumbest trades of all time. The Rockets dumped Chris Paul and picks to get Russell Westbrook. That means they still owe control of their next three drafts to OKC. It God makes no damn. difference if they're bad or not. Now, those picks are top four protected, but they could easily lose a bunch of games, oh, okay. but they top fall four, out of the it. top four. And all of that was for nothing. Like, why not just try to win now? They have no choice but to make the playoffs. Now, the good news is Houston yeah, man, of the next draft the next four years from the James Harden trade. So from 2024 to 2027, the Rockets get the Nets pick. But speaking of the draft, there is one other league-altering option. What if the unthinkable happens on May 16th? That is the day the NBA will hold the draft lottery. And we got when fucked. We find out who we got fried. Victor Wimbanyama. The Rockets have tied for the, the fuck it, another team in Texas Texas getting them, bro, and not us. Selected, and oh, don't get me started on that shit. I'll make a whole video fucking James raging. Harden. They get the best prospects since LeBron James, or they get a James Harden, Jalen Brown, and that's what I'm finna do on 2K. Super team, Houston. Could be the most exciting team in the NBA by the start of next season, unless their nightmare scenario comes true. And they don't get nobody. Where every plan blows up in their face, and they're left with nothing. What if they fall way down this draft to number four? Then James Harden and Jalen Brown the first. resign with their team. Then no big free agent wants to go there. And they're left paying guys like Kyle Kuzma or Harrison Barnes. No offense. Hey, I ain't tripping. We can get Kyle Kuzma. He's still kind of young. young team that just won 22 games and vets on bad contracts. There is no other team you should watch more this offseason than the Rockets. But that's not as wild as the first round of these NBA playoffs. I mean, who saw the number eight seed heat? Yeah, that's where we end the video. I don't feel like talking about the playoffs no more. I'm tired of the playoffs, bro. The Lakers just lost game two today, and I'm kind of sad about that. But, yeah, hey, I'm showing my Houston Houston Rockets fandom. I'm finna do my rebuild. Hold on. Y'all think I'm capping? Hold on. Y'all heard that? Just turn my damn P5 on. All right, look. 
So I'm finna do this rebuild. I'm finna get Jalen Brown, James Harden, and Victor. I'm finna trade for the first pick. So yeah. Uh, comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Y'all fuck with me and I fuck with y'all. Let's get it.